down here in Miami, outside air is a huge cost of energy. Humidity is are typically above 80%, temperatures are around 90 degrees, and we have to condition all that air. For every 100 CFM of outside air you bring in, equates to about one ton of cooling on our systems. The uh, School of Medicine physical plant encompasses about 5.1 million square feet. We have a centralized chill water plant designed for 20,000 tons. Currently has 12,000 tons installed. During the summer, we are constantly at the highest load that, that that plant can handle. We're close to a highway with this building, so we get a lot of soot and dirt flying up. We're sitting right over the airfield flight path for one of the largest international airports in the world. So we have all kinds of pollutants and things that we're sucking in from 400 feet above us. And Baird came and presented a technology to us where they actually remove CO2 from the system without dispersing it through outside air. It's just a clean process where you're you're taking air, you're removing the contaminants, and then you're shooting those contaminants back outside. There's no question about this taking out the VOCs and all of the different uh, chemicals that it's designed to remove from the air. And with the Inverit system, we actually gained better indoor air quality with less outside air. Our original CO2 levels were usually float around 900 parts per million. Now with the Inverit system, CO2 levels are around 700 parts per million. VOCs are also down across the board, so it's worked out quite well for us. If you're running an operation, not unlike what we're running here, but one that's maxed out in its plant capacity, this gives you an opportunity to retrofit your air handlers and increase the capacity of the system without changing out and doing major infrastructure changes, because it adds tonnage to the existing loop by its efficiencies. It can also save us from having to make a large capital investment in another chiller in the future, another cooling tower. By cutting our outside air around 75%, uh, we were able to save a total between the three units of around $19,000 a year in energy savings. The technology enables you to reduce the size, the dimensional size of the equipment uh, and get the same tonnage effect out of it. We're able to buy cheaper equipment because we don't need, to need as much cooling capacity to cool outside air because of the HLR system helps us reduce that. The University of Miami has adopted the LEED technology as an important aspect of growth and future buildings. HLR the functions are very supportive of that. Inverit's HLR technology really allows um, for a cleaner environment that helps the university stay sustainably focused, but also save money, uh, which is really in the mission of the University of Miami towards protecting our environment through decreasing our carbon footprint. We now have installed one at our Coral Gables main campus where the student main student body is in our Richter Library. We've also uh, are installing it in our new uh, uh, renovations at our uh, medical school campus. The Inverit project management crew came in, hired the electricians, I told them what they could and couldn't do. They sorted it out with the people in the building, didn't need much involvement from me. I mean, it was professional, timely done. I had no complaints with it. That's why I'm excited that we're working with Inverid to decrease our electrical consumption and really make an impact here in South Florida. Working with Inverid has been transparent. It's been very simple, very professional. It's pretty simple technology. It's, you know, duct heaters and fans and the filter cartridges, so there's not a lot to go wrong with it. They use a pretty robust control system in the thing too, so I've never had any parts part of the controllers fail or anything fail with the system at all. This technology is basic technology, it's simple to use, it's economical to use, and it overall has a cost-benefit analysis that uh, will show you that there's no reason why you shouldn't use it.